Okay, today's video is going to be Gary B's car. Gary's in New Jersey and he's been looking for a Willys. Car's gone through quite a few changes here and uh, I think he's going to finally like what he sees. We started off, it was going to be a big block Chevy with about 400 horse. And after a couple of go-arounds, we ended up with uh, something just a little bit more snotty. As you can see, the 572 badges. This came from Dahmer Powertrain, and it's actually a 572 720 horse. But they take the Edelbrock heads, replace them with the Brodix BBX heads, and instead of a 850 Holly, we've got a 1050 Dominator. So dyno sheet on this was pushing about 780 horse, about 750 foot-pounds of torque. So probably ought to get groceries pretty quickly. A little sunny out today, so we'll have to pardon the shine. Gary will take care of upholstery and paint when he gets the car. So this is one of our turnkey minus. We do quite a few of these. And we'll give you the walk around. You can see our in-house made big diameter Chevy fender well headers. And since this will be a street and race car, now you got a full exhaust system under the car, as well as a three-inch electric cutout for when he wants to go to the track. So Nothing like almost 800 horse that you can drive to the track. And here you can see that little 572 again. Great motor, about 12 to 1 compression. Runs on 110. And uh, so far gets about zero for mileage. But that's not what we're buying it for. You can see our gas shock on the tilt front end here. And our wizard cooling radiator, uh, catch can as per an HRA. Let me give you a little bit better view here. As we walk around, we do have swing out door bars in the car. We took it out of the driver's side so it'll be easier for the transporter to get in and out without having to complain. see the go pedal, brake pedal. We make the tunnels out of steel for these cars to go with the HRA specs. And a reverse manual valve body. And a nice traditional gauges for them. Painted dashboard. Typical defroster vents. And Got some nice beaded aluminum door panels. There's the swing out door bar. Five point harnesses. And the old lady in front of you stops it uh, without any warning whatsoever. And you can see the sheet metal in the rear of the car here. Again, the, an HRA spec, 50 thou aluminum to separate the driver and the fuel cell. There's our cage tucked up nice and neat to give you about as much headroom as possible. You'll notice the extra bends in the cage and a lot of extra work but it gives you about as much headroom as you can expect out of a Willys. We got some Hoosier 31 12 and a half 15s here on a traditional gasser wheel. the back end of the exhaust system. We have several different choices for those but this is kind of a favorite among the drag guys. And we'll walk around back to our fuel cell radiator setup. Very traditional bumper. Dry cell battery from Kenny at Total Power. Best batteries we've ever come across. Give Kenny a good plug here because he always helps us out. And uh, just a super nice battery, lightweight. I've pulled these things off the shelf after a year and uh, they'll still turn over a big block with a blower. 15 gallon fuel cell, zero to 90 ohm sender. You can see the rear of our bars here. And 
fuel cell vent, the aluminum firewall to separate the driver. Here's our little Willys trunk latch. And very importantly on these cars, battery shutoff switch protruding through the car. Yeah, typical Willys style tail lights. And hard to get the chrome powder coated bumper in there, but you can get a pretty good idea. There we go. Just in case somebody's too busy looking at the car, not paying attention to the tail lights. Here's the outside of the car. Very traditional peep style rears. I'm just going to have Robbie close the trunk now. We'll give another walk around to the car. Again, this is just polished gel coat. You can see what kind of time we spend getting the bodies ready. Everybody seems to be real happy with them. I think Gary will be too. A little bit of shade for once. And that is our 572 780 horse gasser. Show you a little bit of the underneath on the front suspension. Everything chrome underneath. Again, very traditional. Notice our top steer steering. Uh, we were kind of the guys who started that. And uh, now I see it on a lot of cars, but basically eliminates almost all of the bump steer. So you get a very nice drivable car. Nose high attitude, and when you pull into Walmart in this, everybody's gonna take a second look. Oh, sorry for the uh, sunlight today, folks, but hope you get a good idea of what one of our turnkey minus gassers looks like. So, thanks for watching, and tune in for the next, vi next videos.